Well, hey guys, and <laughs> welcome back to a little bit of a different Planet Zoo video. My name is Leaf, and as always, it's a pleasure to have you guys here again today. So, we're here in Bob's Pet Farm, and, you know, it's wonderful. <laughs> so, we are recording. Alright, cool. I just want to make sure. So, this is a Planet Zoo VR video that I've talked about forever, and, you know, I'm finally doing it. So, let me actually just stand up so I could walk through this with you guys. So, if we can just continue on through the pet farm. So, this is actually being used with Deo VR, which is a nice little photo viewer, video viewer for uh, VR headsets. And I currently have the Oculus Rift S, I think. I could be entirely wrong. But, um, no, it's just really nice to be in VR for Planet Zoo, and it's actually really cool. So, in Ansel, if you have, like, a GeForce driver, you are able to take 360 stereo photo sh photographs, yeah. And you can actually go into, like, any zoo, and you can take photos like this. So, I took the liberty to do a bunch, and we're starting off with good old Bob's Pet Farm by the wonderful Rudy Renkamal. And yeah, it's just really cool to be in here. So, unfortunately, you aren't able to take, like, 360 video, which really would have helped sell it. But, you know, just being here alone, just seeing, like, the work that you guys, the work that you sell, that, like, yourself have created, it's, like, a really awesome experience. So, yeah, it's just really cool to see that. I love that part right there. That is insane. <laughs> just seeing, like, all the tiny details is like such an awesome experience but yeah just like seeing all these vineyards seeing like the peacocks down there it's so insane just like the scope that you have in here is amazing and here we are back in Foxborough Zoo I took a few screenshots in here obviously so this is like my favorite place to hang out whenever I visit the file this is like the little African penguin area and you can see like they're just all vibing you can really get like a good sense of scale like I feel like I could just walk right up to the um, glass and like just kind of poke over like that. But um, yeah, it's actually really, really cool. And like you get to like experience all your builds from like a new level. Like I'm really happy I put this like shade here because it just helps it really tie it all together. Like what else did I take pictures of? Oh yeah, this is our little farm to table stretch. This is part of like the little children's zoo. So we have the uh, Asian wild water buffalo right over there. We can see our little, what is that? A flamingo? Of course, I made the flamingo pack along with Nick. But um, yeah, it's just really cool to see like how all of this comes together. No, no. What else in Foxborough do we have? We have our little otters over there. And I love this part right here. This is like my spot. So, I just love how you can see, like, the barn up there. I love how you can see, like, all the detail in the stairs, even the railings over there. And look at that. Those are our little otter friends. I absolutely love them. My controller is doing some wonky stuff because my area isn't even that big. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. All right. And we can even see our little otter friends right there. Look how happy they are. They're just chilling, you know? And yeah, it's just so cool to be like in these exhibits and have like a different perspective. I love it. And like, look, we can see one right there and one right there too. It's just insane to see. All right, let me get like reoriented a little bit. And here we are in Roger Williams. This is a little bit of a sneak peek for um, all your Roger Williams fans. So this is actually their new alligator exhibit. And we currently have like a little Cuvier's Dwarf came in right in there. And actually, this is like my contribution to Nick. This actually came out pretty accurate to life. Uh, apparently, so he says. I haven't seen it yet, but it is a lot more themed. So this isn't going to stay like this. I'm going to change it up a little bit, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, just going through Roger Williams, it's just really awesome to see like how everything comes together, especially because I've been to this zoo before and it actually does like replicate the scale that you feel when you're actually there which is insane like amazing job to nick for like this whole shebang like all of this but yeah here's our little giraffe feeding station this is technically closed off during covid but you know we snuck our way in here i don't know it's just really fun to see like unfortunately they don't really move 
but like you still get like a good sense of scale from seeing like a big old giraffe right there like you feel really small next to him he actually did such a good job on like getting all the scale in here right i love it now this is good old faces of the rainforest without animals really because we haven't really added them into this one yet but yeah i absolutely love this building so much it's like so awesome to be in here. Those are our black spot piranhas in there, and those are angelfish, giant river otters in there. This is so fun. If you look close enough, you might even be able to see like the Tamandua kind of climbing up out of there, trying to escape. Not really, but you know, we'll see. We have our little babarusas in there, so yeah, we actually snuck those into the zoo. Uh, yeah, I guess we haven't really been in Roger Williams since Southeast Asia came out. But yeah, it's still really cool to see. Unfortunately, like, this stuff is kind of blurry for me. Let me actually check on the computer. Because it might not be... Oh, no. Yeah, it's just blurry for me. I don't have my glasses on in here, so I can't really see too well. So this is World of Adaptations, as you guys might already know. So we have the little snake in there. I think that's supposed to be the Emerald Tree Boa. We have, like, the Hornbills, I think. We have the tree kangaroos, which aren't actually in the game because, you know, they're having a little bit of problems. We have the turtles in there, and we have the Komodo dragon right in there. And yeah, it's just so awesome to be in here, especially the Venetian Plaza. Like, this unironically is one of my favorite parts of Roger Williams, just because it's so different. Like, you don't really expect this from a zoo. And that's why I like it. So going forward, we have some of our moon bears over there. Yeah, we're just gonna skip through Roger Williams a little bit and look at the oh no we're in the snow leopard habitat I sure hope we don't get eaten but no it's insane like down there we have our pronghorns down there my controller is going off the fritz and yeah I don't have the eagles installed but I feel like that'd be funny to see anyways so yeah moving forward we have our bison over there we have our pronghorns right over there and yeah we have the cheetahs over here you can see them right over there. I would have loved for one to be up on that rock over there, but I couldn't really move them too well. What else? Uh, those guys are dead. Um, we actually got new wildebeest. And if you guys haven't seen Nick's new Roger Williams video, go check it out. It's not a Planet Zoo video. It's just a straight up Roger Williams video. So please do check that out. But yeah, here we are in lovely Terra Nova. And you can see like... This is my little dome over here. I created this mess. This is my home. And yeah, it's just really cool to actually see the projects that you've been working on. You can see like all these wiring from like a new level. I don't know why my headset's getting a little wonky. Yeah, this is very, <laughs> this is very, um, I don't know how you describe it. It's very put together, yeah. The headset, at least, not Terra Nova. Terra Nova is beautiful. And, like, I just love seeing little Fred right there and our other little friends right there. It's just so insane to actually, like, be on the red planet, you know? We can see our little rover talking with our little Fred over there. There's my controller, and it's not actually there. And, yeah, this is, this is such a cool shot. I wanted to get some aerial shots just because I thought it'd be really cool to see. So, this is a few episodes back, so... Feel free to check out all those other episodes. I'm sure you guys will love them. But yeah, just seeing like Zeke and stuff down there, just seeing like all the stuff that Basic, Bold, and um, Poison Blade did, just seeing everyone's builds over here, especially mine. That's pretty cool. Yeah, whoever made that's pretty cool, you know? But yeah, this is such a cool sense of scale. So here we are in Missoula Zoo. So if you guys haven't checked out Missoula Zoo by Haribo, Definitely go check that out. This is easily one of the most realistic and awesome zoos that you will ever see. I only took a few pictures in here because this is the season one release. I wasn't able to load into all the other files, but this is like, I don't care. It's so amazing nonetheless. So yeah, just seeing like, I love this shot over here. This is pure realism and it feels like you're actually in here. But yeah, it's just so awesome to see. I love it so much. Just like all the detail that Haribo is able to sneak in here. Where am I? Oh. Let's go jump from planet to planet. Alright, yeah. But just seeing the amount of detail that Haribo was able to sneak in here. It's awesome. I love it. And if we continue on, we can actually go into the, like, the little restaurant. 
and yeah, like you, it's such an insane sense of scale in here. Like you actually feel like you're at peep level. That guy's walking on his chair. What a schmuck. We should probably beat him up or something. But, um, no, this is like so insane to see. Like, can you imagine just like, I'm going to pop a squat right here. Actually. Can you imagine like sitting down here for a nice little lunch with these views back there? That's like, I love that. So here we are in Hutan Rimba. Now this was made by Zekin and Stoppable Son. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely do because this is one of my favorite builds. Like out of anything else, really. This is such a nice little small build, but it like demonstrates like the beauty of Southeast Asia so well. And this was made right after the pack came out. So definitely do keep an eye out for anything that Zekin and Son get up to. But yeah, like this is probably the best pictures that I've taken in sense of scale so we can actually see I think those are Babarusas back there but we can see the teep here right there I don't know it's just so insane to see like all this come together that's a leaf insect right over there one of my personal favorites but yeah this is just insane guys like even just looking at the detail of the strangler figs it's crazy I love it just the sunbeams coming in like, I don't know if it's just a VR headset, but I'm feeling the heat in here, you know? So there are doles. I don't know why he has those little chairs over there. Maybe the doles are having like a little nice tea party. But yeah, this is so cool to see, guys. I love this so much. But um, yeah, just like all the detail that you're able to sneak in here. Just being able to like look out over there. It's crazy. I love it. So going forward, he has this lovely little pond area you can actually see me like punch my punch my air you know but yeah this is insane this is such a like look at these doors like can you just imagine like closing them up like at the end of the day i love it i absolutely love this but um yeah look at this nice little pond that they have san does such an amazing job with his foliage he actually helped me out many times and he's actually helping me out in uh foxborough zoo coming up soon once we actually get started on the africa area but we'll get there soon enough um i don't know why it's kind of wonky now all right i guess i'll just turn my head like this then but yeah these are the proboscis monkeys and i really wanted to get one bright in the water right there i think it looks so awesome i love it but um yeah this is easily my favorite habitat in here look at how much climbing that they have up there this is kind of like a zoo tourist slash I don't know, proof of concept video, but I can't wait to do like a lot more videos like this because I'm having so much fun. <laughs> There's our little sun bear right there. He's just taking a little nap. And I, yeah, they have the binturong in here somewhere, but I don't really see it. Oh no, he's right up there actually. It's, it's so cool. It's like you're actually in a zoo guys. Like, I don't know, it's really fun. So there are the Indian elephants, which, you know, they have the biggest habitat out of them all, and I love these shade structures. It looks so real. Oh my god, like this is a zoo I would 100% fall in love with. It's so beautiful. But yeah, moving on forward, we have more stuff from Zekin, obviously. So this is his aquatic dome, or aquatic, no, aquatic center, Rudy's the aquatic dome. We're actually going to cover that in the next one. I'm not sure when that will be. If you guys really like this one, I may do it pretty soon. But yeah, this is insane to see. Just like I'm sitting down right now because my legs are getting a little bit tired. But yeah, like this is such an insane sense of scale. This is so beautiful. Just seeing the map right there, just seeing like all these towering rocks going right over there. It's beautiful. So we made this one for the aquatic pack. And you can see like all the nice little king penguins over there taking a little dip. And if you look down here. We can see like all the nice little river otters just taking a little stroll, taking a little bath. And I wanted to get one from like up above just to get like a good sense of scale. Like look at all this. You can see like the seals back there. You can see like a little penguin statue right there. It's just such a cool sense of scale in here. And I love it. I take one more artsy picture in here. So keep an eye out for that one. And I think this is it. Yeah, so you're underwater. <laughs> And it's so cool. And if you look to your right, we have a little penguin right there. And like, you actually feel the sense of scale from him. He looks like, I just want to hold him guys. And you can like see all the detail underwater. And this was before the aquatic like water update. So you can kind of see like a normal water, but he has a blue water down here to 
kind of give that effect of like blue ass water essentially but yeah look at this little guy i wish i could get like closer to him but no i'm just leaning back and forth and it's making me kind of dizzy so here we are in Malin Zoo by Delay Designer, and I figure like one of the most downloaded zoos on the workshop, we gotta visit in VR, you know? So this is her little panda, is the name around here? No, I don't think it is. But yeah, this is a giant panda habitat, and you can see like one, two, three of them strolling around. I love how that guy's trying to get onto the feeder, it's so cute. But um, yeah, it's just so insane. I wanted to get like right up to the rail. So you can kind of like pretend you're like watching the pandas forever. I love how no one's over here too. It feels like you have the whole zoo to yourself. And speaking of pandas, we also have the red pandas over here. Pandas, I forget the name of it, but um, but yeah, this is such a nice little habitat over here. I could sit here all day and just watch, yeah, just watch these guys go around. And this is inside her little dome over here. So these are saltwater crocodiles. You can actually see one of the big guys right there. And I think there are a few babies in here as well, but unfortunately the shot doesn't really show it off too well. But yeah, this is such a nice view in here. And just like looking up, you got such a good sense of scale. Again, I apologize if the mic quality isn't that good, but yeah, waking up, we find ourselves eating lunch at this little food court over here. So you get like all your water, all your drinks and your foods over here. And you can just sit down and watch the hippos like do their thing. And I love it guys. This is so insane to have. And here we are. I decided to put myself in the macaque habitat right at the top of this little climbing structure over here. And you can see like all the room that they have to like walk around, climb around. It's like she did such a good job with like all these rocks she made it look so natural and so amazing and just like i don't know these are just very simple pieces back there and you can kind of see it like form up there but it pulls it off so well i just really love it i also love that little viewing platform over there but you know this is the best seat in the house over here you know you're like king monkey over here and yeah, this is right next to the House of Primates, and I believe these are chimps, but I could be entirely mistaken. It's just, I don't know. I didn't really know what was in here, but I just felt like it was a really nice view into this habitat. And just seeing, like, over there seems like a nice little modest viewing area. I love the planting job over here, too. It looks absolutely beautiful. I don't know, it's just such an enjoyable experience. And so I decided to throw this in the ha elephant habitat, too, because... These guys are huge and I wanted to get like a good sense of scale from them. So I don't know, you just feel like, you feel their size right next to you and it's insane. And yeah, you can see like the elephant house over there. Oh no, I love this. I just really love this. And yeah, I needed to end it up on the flamingo habitat, of course, because hey, I'm Leaf. I love the flamingos, you know? But yeah, like just seeing all this, even this bridge over here, it's such a nice curve up. I don't know, she just did such an amazing job on that. But yeah, over here we are taking a little trip to the Beaks Bergen. And this was made by Just Goron. If you guys aren't subbed to Just Goron, go sub to him. He's absolutely amazing. He has made every single bit of Beaks Bergen from scratch. He made it on a 1 to 1.5 scale. I think I could be entirely wrong. But still, he is putting an amazing amount of dedication to this project, and he needs so much more recognition for it. But yeah, this is a little chimp habitat, and it's so amazing. So, you know, if you're a little bugged down from COVID, if you really want to travel the world again, you know, this is a perfect way. Get a, get a nice little VR set, you know? But yeah, even the detail down to the grates over there, that is insane to see. I'm like, this is such a nice habitat too, I love it, but we have so many more to get through. Now this is one of my favorite, this is like top five favorite pictures that I've taken through this. This is a little like, I don't know what this is called, I'm sorry Gora. <laughs> but yeah, this is a little like eating area right next to the hippos. So you get to see the hippos from there. You get to see like whatever these monkeys are, probably lemurs, I don't really know. But this is insane right here. Just seeing like all these detailed tables and like being able to see right through the glass. It really does bring out like a new perspective from, I don't know, from all your zoos. And just seeing like, look at all this. I'm pretty sure these are the um, barriers 
And look at how well you pulled it off, Goron. That is insane. Like, down to the very last detail. I love it. And of course, these are the tigers. So unfortunately, when I loaded into Beeksbergen, all the animals died. Also, this is such a nice view. I never, like, turned around here yet. I, like, did a preliminary check through of, like, all the zoos and stuff. But no, I never actually looked back there. That's beautiful. So yeah, all the animals died. And I'm pretty sure that tiger is dead right there. So let's just wave bye to him. This is such a nice habitat too. It's so beautiful. I love all the pine trees too. Oh. And of course we needed to take a little trip into an aviary. And yeah, you have like these little nice benches. And you can kind of see a little peacock behind there. You can't really see him too well, but I don't know. It looks insane nonetheless. And here's the dead hippo, of course. So this is one of my favorite parts of like this entire zoo. This is like the hippo and the Nile crocodile habitat. And just seeing like, look at the HVAC system he has up here. Look at everything he has in here. I'm sure you could like hit pause and see so many different things that Goron has absolutely perfected in here. But yeah, the Nile crocodiles have their habitat right over there, over at that viewing balcony. I love how well these stairs turned out. It's insane. I love it. And yeah, we have these. I think those are chimps as well. But yeah, you could see like all these different habitats on the horizon. And it's so beautiful. I love it. And if we turn around, we can see more chimp areas. And you have that little like viewing area. I think Ron was saying that um, there's actually shows down there. And like an educator would stand right there and people would just sit up there and they would like feed the chimps, I think. I could be wrong, but look at that big boy back there. I love him. And of course we have one dead flamingo, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one's alive, but he's gonna die. But yeah, this is a nice little flamingo aviary. I forget if there's actually flamingos in here or if he change them out for something else that we don't have as you know in game or as mod yet but still this is such a cool look in here and this is why i really wish we had like good mesh pieces because i don't know it would really help complete it but still it's so nice to have like this view out into that big old savannah out there it's beautiful and here we are we're just sitting for a little bit of lunch i love the like all right mandrills over there it looks like a nice fine habitat i should have taken the picture over there but look at this view down here look how excellently crafted everything is down there look at how excellently crafted everything is down here it looks so real i love it but um continuing forward we have our nice old lion habitat over here dead dead and dead but yeah, look at that little car over there. I love that. He probably did that shit from scratch, you know? But yeah, this is so insane to see. You can even see like all their holding dens over there. It's beautiful. I'm just like astounded by all the detail. Now we're heading over down to the land down under with our friend Paulsley. Now this is Didri Zoo, and this is like one of the first zoos I ever did this little VR thing with. I've followed Didri Zoo like ever since the inception of it and conception. Wow, I'm getting tired. This is one of my favorite zoos out there just because Pulsley put an enormous amount of love and detail into this and I just wanted to show it off. So let's kick back for a little bit. Let's put our hands behind our heads and let's just sit by the beach for a little bit because hey, we've we visited so many zoos today. We need to take a little break. And we have our little personal bodyguard to keep us safe too, so. I don't know, it's just such a crazy amount of detail. Look, look at those plastic, like, benches over there. That's perfect over there. And we can even get our little booze on, we can get a little drink over there. I love it. This is such an insane zoo. I, it's one of my favorites. So, here we have the little kangaroo habitat, and it's just so awesome to be immersed in these. Just like looking at all the floor tiles, you feel like you're actually there. And, you know, we'll just continue going forward. This is one of my favorites. I wanted to sit in the boat for a little bit, and it's just so crazy to see. Like, look at all the detail on the bridge. Like, you get a good sense of scale in here, and that's like exactly what I love. And here we have his little, like, glass down viewing area. And we can actually see one of our salties over there. Let's actually move that out of the way. But, um, yeah, this is crazy. We can see a little motels that he did over there. 
I love these tables too. Like just seeing that wood grain, kind of like burned in wood, kind of work with that. That is insane over there. And yeah, too many people though. I like being right here. Nobody comes over here. Probably because guests don't have modular pathfinding, but still. So we have our Komodo dragons over here. And yeah, they're just chilling out over there. They're just doing their thing. And um, yeah, we have like our nice little crossroads over here. We have like the koalas right behind us, but we can't really see them because we have like a million guests in our way. Uh, these are the tortoises. So we actually did get backstage paths, paths, well, passes. So we can actually visit our little tortoises up close and you know, they're vibing, you know, we get, we get to pet them too, you know, why not? But yeah, we can see like the riverboat cruises over there. I love it. And speaking of riverboat cruises, look, what's that? Is that a salty? That is a salty. Look, what's that over there? It's another one. But yeah, this is so crazy to see. And look up there. That is insane up there. I love that. Just like being able to sit in here. I love it. This is such an insane thing to experience. Now you're a a little bit of an up-and-comer. He uh, built this beautiful Bhutanese like habitat over here. I didn't even know he had like these boats in here, but I've seen this on the workshop. I've seen this on like the Planet Zoo Twitter. This is insane, and I knew like exactly I needed to get in the in VR for this one. So yeah, you can see like all these beautiful bridges, and we're actually gonna go up there right now. So ready, dab, we're up there. And yeah, just being able to like see like the pond down there, just seeing like the scale, all the detail of these buildings, it is insane. Just like all the tiny little clutter over there, like even that box right there, it ties it all together. You really feel like you're, you know, in a real place, you know? And where are we going? Oh, that's a little sneak peek, but um, we are at a lower elevation over here. Figured why not? And I wanted to get like a better view of like, you know, the towering minarets up there and stuff. But yeah, this is insane to see. And just like looking over the edge, let's just pretend we're like kneeling on that little blanket over there. Just seeing like this beautiful river over here. It's insane. Oh my God. Now we're going to go to like one of the coolest examples of using VR for Planet Zoo ever. This is Plastic Swan's little Christmas tabletop village. And you can kind of see that we are in a miniature scale. We have, um, I don't know, we have our windows back there. We have our guests over there. We have all our little reindeers over there. They're all in boxes too. I couldn't really unbox them. So I, I moved one out here for the picture, but wow, this is beautiful. Just seeing the sense of scale in here. I don't know, who wants to visit Santa? He's right over there. <laughs> And yeah, this is so beautiful. Like just seeing all the lights in here, it's insane. It really does bring me back to Christmas, which, you know, it's one of my favorite times of the year. And yeah, this is my personal favorite. This is so cool to just like be able to sit in a room, not really sit, but stand in a room and look down at this tiny village that we were just in. I mean, we were like right here. If we like look over there and teleport ourselves over there, it's crazy. <laughs> I really do love it. It's so beautiful. I didn't even check all that stuff out over there. But yeah, this is insane. Like, I love this. This just, it really brings out the warm feelings in me. All right. And of course, we got to go to Suyana. I need to see how long this video is. Wow, it's like, we're at the 30 minute mark. This is pretty fun. But um, yeah, like, I know Nick was talking with me about this. I was showing off like a little bit of this. He's like, how much of a sense of scale do you really get from this experience? And I'm like, you got a good amount. But once we actually got in here, I was like, wow, this, this is the icing on the cake. So this is my favorite view from Suyana. You get like Poison Blade's beautiful creations like all around here. I just love it. I love it. I could stare up there all day. But you know, what's the point of staring up there if we can't actually go up there? So this is also one of my favorite like views. Just even being up here, which is like such an insane elevation difference from right down there. You get to see like these hanging lanterns and stuff and they still look absolutely huge. 
and that's it's just so beautiful oh my god and seeing like all the detail in these buildings it's so so beautiful i love it i really do love it but yeah we're continuing on we have his little flamingo enclosure over here we see his beautiful rock climbing walls and yeah i think these are his old otter enclosures uh this is a little bit back this was poison blades file if we can find the towering monstrosity that is mount suyana but no don't worry about that we're in the little market village right here this is such an insane view over here too i absolutely love it i don't know it's just so insane to be like in this zoo that you've constantly watched from like the beginning and then you actually get to experience it like this this is insane we see a little lion over there it's beautiful and they have like all that exhibit just to go walk around there like all around there but yeah i think that is coming up to our end of suyana so yeah we have like this little elephant habitat over here we have tusker's barn grill that sign was made by bold i believe but yeah this is beautiful and let's actually sit down for a little bit of lunch excuse the low res textures uh that's something planet zoo needs to figure out but yeah can you imagine just like eating lunch in here and you see all these guys just like vibing out there it's so beautiful you can also get like a little bite to eat over there too and yeah i think oh wow it actually works so this was eben's little build for suyana and i just love the view outside of the window just seeing like right through there and having everything else in here as well. I forget. Oh yeah, it's a little python exhibit too. I love it. Now, Crocs decided to chip in a few pieces to this experience. Now, this is his, it's kind of like a dolphin stadium. And please, no angry comments. I just, I just prevent, I just present these, okay? I don't build these. But um, no, he did such a beautiful job with that. Look at all the seating over there. It's insane. But yeah, just seeing these dolphins in here, it's cool. It, it gives me the feelies, you know? But yeah, he has some orcas over there. He has a little Frank right there. I don't know, it's just so crazy to see. And this is inside Alborg Zoo. So this is Croc's recreation. And I don't know, it's just so crazy to see. Of course, I'm a nerd for all these flamingos. So these are my Caribbean flamingos. I love them. But yeah, it's just so crazy to see. And look at these like viewing enclosures i forget what's in here i think it might be the capybaras but it may be like the giant eaters maybe still nonetheless it looks absolutely beautiful and this is like the nice big aviary we can actually see one of the yep it's the capybaras he's right there but yeah that's coming up in the next episode for him so keep an eye out on his channel but yeah just the sense of scale that you're getting in here is insane and yeah, this is another view. This is what he was working on recently. So this is like the holding for the capybara and I believe something else in here. I think it's the Kawati, maybe? I'm not really sure, but no, it's so insane. All right, well, I think we're coming up on the end of that. Yeah, we are. So we're just gonna hop over to my build. Yeah, why not? But yeah, I wanna thank you guys. This was the big goal for 2K subscribers, so I want to thank every single one of you for subscribing. It means so much to me, and I'm just really happy you guys are along for the ride with this. If you guys like this video, please drop a like, drop a comment, drop me, like, names of zoos you want me to visit in VR. Let me know, like, if you want me to visit your zoos in VR. I'm just checking stuff out with these controllers. But, um, yeah. If you guys really did like this video, I know it's a little bit of a long one. That's not really my taste. But if you guys really did like it, please like consider subscribing. It really does help me out. And who knows, maybe at 3K we can do another one of these. So, yep, my name is Lee. Thank you guys so much for joining today. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Ne meanwhile, I need to go puke because VR gives me a headache. Take care and have a wonderful day. Say goodbye to the penguins, guys.